Will Quack Quack was making a fishing rod with a cotton reel and a bent nail. His mother called to him. Hey, little Quack, come here, will you? Go Quack, all right, ma'am, said Will, and he hid the rod under the bed. Martha had told him never to go near the mill pond ever since the time the boys had got soaked there playing leapfrog. And if she were to see the fishing rod, she'd be sure to have hysterics. Oh, little Quack, <laughs> said Martha. I want you to go on an errand to Mary Pickle's house at once. <laughs> Will's face fell. Quack. Do I have to? He asked. I promised to meet the boys. Oh, t -t -t -t, said Martha. You'll have plenty of time after doing the errand, and you shall have something nice to eat afterwards. Will cheered up on hearing this. And after she'd given him the message, he rushed out of the house. Now, who happened to be coming to meet him on the way but all his friends? And they all had a fishing rod and a net each. Gobble, gobble, Will, said Ivan. Where's your rod? Quack! <laughs> Under the bed! I've got to go on an errand to the village, but I won't be long. You go on and I'll come after you. And Will hurried off to the village, running past Mr. Pew the shop shop, turning the corner by Oe Policeman's house, then full speed to Mary Pickle's cottage. Quack! Mary Pickles, Mum wants you to come to tea this afternoon, and, and she's going to make a snail cake if you come. Will you come? Well, yes, of course I'll come, thank you very much. Come in and have a piece of... But Will had already gone, almost running into Owie policeman. Oh, oh what? gasped Owie. But by the time he recovered, Will was disappearing into the distance. When he arrived home, Martha was carrying the big wash tub out to the back. Oh, ma'am, Mary Pickle says thank you and she's coming this afternoon. Well done, Will. Oh, there's a piece of worm cake on the table for you being a good boy. Oh, go back. Oh, thanks, ma'am. And he hurried upstairs to fetch the fishing rod. But how could he get out of the house without his mother knowing? As he was wondering what to do, a voice called, Will, Will, gobble, gobble. Are you coming with us or not, eh? Quack, yes! And before anyone could say another word, he took hold of the fishing rod and jumped out through the window. Oh, stop! shouted Shawnee, but it was too late. Into the wash tub he plunged. <coughs> and then he shut his mouth lest more soap should go down his throat. When Martha saw Will, she almost had a fit. Oh, oh, Will, tut, 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 you naughty little quack. What are you doing there? Oh. And she called his father to come at once to wash him under the pump. Rasmus David, said Humphra when he saw Will covered in soap. And he pumped and pumped until Will was even wetter than before. Then Martha took him into the kitchen, dried him, gave him a soup spoonful of soft soap, lamp oil and black soot and sent him to bed for the rest of the day lest he should catch cold. Oh. Poor Will. He didn't go fishing that morning after all. Oh. Wow.